Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Surfside Jetty in Freeport, Texas. It is a beautiful day. The conditions could not have been any better. I don't know what the clarity of the water is, but the surf is calm. I've already seen one big, huge speckled trout being caught already, and I am pretty excited. We're gonna get some fresh water in our shrimp, because that's some pretty nasty stuff right there. And uh, we'll get started. start with a paddle tail. Cast that out there really quick, see if there's any takers. It is awesome not having no wind out here today. Coming all the way down to the water's edge too. Here we go right there, second trout that I've seen landed today. I think he's just free lining shrimp. You wanna use the net? You want to use the net? Oh, that'd be fine. That'd be fine. Okay. Thank you. Beautiful trout. Yeah. Okay. That's a no go. Let's hurry up and get a shrimp on our jetty cork and we'll get that out there really quick. As fast as we possibly can. Put that right here. There we are. Let's get this guy out there. There we go. Come on, take it. Come on, buddy. That might be a little bait thief. There we are. We got him. Oh yeah, that is a nice big old trout. Oh no, that's a sheep's head. First fish of the day, nice keeper sheep's head right there. Oh yeah, he's a keeper, 16 and a half inches. Here we go, good day, a good start to the day. There we are right there. There we go. Yeah, boy. Nice little trout. That's a good speckled trout, respectable size. See if this guy's going to be a keeper. First one right there on the day. Looks to be about 17, 18 inches. 16 and a half. Not bad. That is a great keeper size going home. There we go. We got one right there, y'all. It's a small fella, it feels like it. No, nice. Nice old speckled trout. It has been 
a long time since our last bite. And that is another keeper trout. That is exactly what we need to take home for dinner and that's gonna complete it right there. So let's uh, quickly go over the setup. I know I always fail to mention it. This is the Jetty Cork and it's a DIY. So that right there is just a homemade cork with, made out of uh, two floats. We've got a uh, half ounce sinker right there. We've got a swivel, that's a number two. And uh, we've got leader line about a foot and a half to two foot, 20 pound test fluorocarbon. And then we've also got about a six foot, seven foot segment right here of 20 pound fluorocarbon tied to the same swivel. Split shot right there, tiny little one. That's just to get the shrimp down there. Otherwise he'll swim around at the top and get taken by the seagulls. And we have a J hook. I think this is like a, a number two size right there. The concept is whenever the line goes down there, the float stays at the top this goes down and it extends it about an extra foot and a half of depth to the seven feet that we got right there so approximately eight and a half feet total depth when the fish bites i can feel the bite immediately because we don't have to worry about the cork going down to like have an indicator of there's going to be a bite we can feel it automatically because of the line going straight to that swivel and then the main line Oh, there we go. That is a nice big keeper right there, y'all. That is what we've been waiting on all day long. And this guy got hit by a dolphin or something, because check this out, watch. Look at this other side. Right there. Oh my gosh. That is a nice 20, 20 inch trout. Fat back and everything. I mean, that is a gorgeous trout right there. Woo, what a day it has been. Keeper number four. Been trying, hooking them in a new spot um, right there at that last segment on the tail. So far, so good. I mean, it could just be pure coincidence, but I mean, it's working. Not a bad day. One more trout and that's a limit. Him, yeah, baby. I got tagged a couple of times, and I'm like, I just know it's a matter of time before this paddle tail actually comes and gets one of these fat girls. That's five of them. I knew it was only a matter of time because they were hanging around the uh, drop and I was like... You saw them over. Well, no, it's just that's where we've been catching them. Yeah. Uh-oh. Like a hole there? Yeah.
Oh my gosh, I bumped the rocks just like bass fishing. And look at this, big girl number three, y'all. You, it'll extend. Okay. How do you extend it? Just yeah. There you go. Wow, that's crazy. All right. Thank you, brother. Here you go. <laughs> thank you. That's heavy. Knocking it out the park. Whoo! This super shad from Hoagies killing it again. Look at this, y'all. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is a gorgeous, healthy, fat trout right there. They stopped biting the shrimp, so this went straight to the artificial. Yeah, we've got only 11% battery life. I'm still gonna stay out here just for the love of fishing because them big girls are biting right now. They are munching the plastics. I mean, I went through just about every artificial that you can think of and the paddle tail, it's reigning supreme. Setup that we're using is a seven foot six inch old 18 Outfitters buoyancy. It's a phenomenal rod. We've got a Luz Pro SP baitcaster with 20 pound braid, and then a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader from Seaguar and Vizix. A 3 8 ounce jig head, that's a three aught size hook. All the stuff that I use is gonna be listed, almost all of it is going to be listed down below in my video description. is oh my gosh that is big girl number four i mean they are crushing the paddle tail yes please i'll try to bring it right over here Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, you okay? Okay, okay, don't, don't worry about that fish, man. I ah, appreciate it, brother. Yeah, that one's even bigger. You okay? Oh my gosh, y'all. The bite just completely turned on. I mean, look at this. This big old trout. Thank you, brother. Yeah, 26. Holy cow. What's been your biggest one? 26 and a half. So this is close to there. Yeah, very close to it. I am telling you, the bite literally just turned on. I'm about to record the conditions right now. And this is exactly the similar to what we had in one of the previous videos at the Texas City Dyke. Choppy water, the wind was uh, blowing pretty good. Here we go, what are our conditions? All right, water level, 1.12 feet. Winds are 10.5 knots. Oh, look at the water temp, 76. And the pressure is dropping right now. Definitely plays into our favor whenever that pressure drops. Oh my gosh, I really don't wanna leave now especially whenever these fat girls are biting the way they are. Holy cow. 